Welcome to the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast, episode number 135. In today's episode, we continue the, the uh, journey on hazard um, identification. And uh, along this journey, as I was a young man, I, I used to call it a near miss when something happened. And I, I, think, I think I'm at the point over the last uh, year or so when I really want to change my terminology and call it a near hit. I really wish that I could say that I, I somehow dreamt this up. But the more I talk with other safety professionals um, who have gone this route, it seems like they're getting just a little more traction. So um, let's just dive right into it then. So um, employees are the greatest source of identifying hazards. So when either a near miss or a near hit, depending on your terminology, you know, and I would say that um, don't think that because I'm. I'm saying this that you guys should should go out and change a course because you have to do what's right with your culture in place then, you know. Um, it seems to me like the terminology is very similar. So I tried to look up the exact definitions of both and, and they're both almost 100% the same thing. So I'm not going to go over the definitions, you know, and all that kind of stuff then. Um, and this is just more of a personal. Uh, I'm still in the process of gathering data. Uh, but I think that a near hit seems to have a more serious consequence associated with it. Um, and I think that I would get more traction um, when talking with the management folks, of course, obviously, that we've had a, a near hit as opposed to a near miss. Uh, now, I don't I don't just do it uh, for accidents and all that kind of stuff then or uh, like potential near miss or near hits. I'll, I'll do mine for chemical leaks and all that kind of stuff. But let's let's just purely talk about a uh, terminology then. Um, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, change and look at um, introducing this more and more into what I'm doing out there. So it has taken me uh, two or three years to really kind of gather enough data, talking with enough other safety professionals, um, just to kind of see what their experience was. Of course, I had had heard it. So um, I think I'm going to change it to a near hit then. So uh, always do what's right for you and your company. So Episode 135, super short one today. We, we continued the uh, journey on hazard identification, and we talked a little bit about um, my, at least my experience in the almost 30 years, calling it a near miss, and I think I'm at the point that I'm going to change uh, everything that I'm, I shouldn't say everything, but a lot of things I'm doing over to a, a, near, a near hit. I know it's not an overnight change, of course, you know, and all that stuff then. Um, but I think that's going to, that's going to help me to get more traction because a near miss just kind of sounds like, well, you know, it's, it's lucky nothing happened. You know, of course we'll investigate it and all that. But when you think about a hit, I think that's, I think that's going to have a lot more gravity. That's going to have a lot more of a, Hey, here's the consequence of what could happen as opposed to a near miss. So, and it may take me a couple of years to really have the data to really see if changing it over really had a difference or all I did is just change the terminology and everybody was doing a great job of taking it serious um, anyway. So uh, uh, episode 135 is complete. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. My name is Dr. David Ayers. Thank you and have a safe day.